Hi guys, so today we are going to learn about a new concept that is a two-pointer approach. So what is two-pointer approach? Whenever you are going to solve a problem and you are going to take two pointers in order to solve that particular problem is known as a two-pointer approach. The, uh, the basic problem of two-pointer approach is two-sum. So what is two sum basically? Two sum is you would have to find a pair of elements that is two elements with, uh, in a given sorted array or it could be unsorted also but two pointer approach usually works for a sorted array only. So it must be a sorted array and you would have to uh, say whether there are any uh, pairs which add up to a given sum. So if uh, there are any pairs, you would, uh, you would be saying that yes, uh, this particular pair which is giving me this particular two, uh, array has a pair of values that adds up to a given sum that we are searching for. Otherwise, you would have to return false. So what would be the input elements? So the input elements would be 2, 5, 8, 12. 30 okay uh, let me let me the input be this and the element that we are searching for be equal to 17 uh, element or the sum that we are searching for is 17 so what basically two pointer approach does is it starts from this value it has two pointers that is suppose l and h so as you add these two values you would be getting a sum of 32 since the value of 32 is greater so uh, i would be reducing the value of h okay so uh, let me remove this particular section and this would be giving me h and l so l and h would be giving me now 14 so as you can see that now we are getting 14 which is less than the sum of these two values uh, less, which is less than 17 so we would have to go and increase the value of uh, l so instead of that some might, uh, someone might uh, suggest that why don't we increase the value of h because we have already checked before it this method is so robust that uh, it already covers the cases because uh, you have already checked before that these two elements can, not, can provide a sum or not then only you reduce or increase the values right since uh, so you can just follow the particular algorithm directly and you would be getting the output you would have to just follow key, uh, follow when the value of the sum is greater than s then you would have to reduce the value of high and when the value of s is less than h is less than s then you would have to increase the value of l okay i think so i wrote it so the sum that we are, yeah so the sum that we are searching for is greater suppose x we are searching for is greater than s then we would be re reducing this would be low plus high And this will, uh, if x is greater than s, that is low plus i, then we would be uh, increasing the value of low index. So this is l now, and this is h now. So this gives me 5 plus 12, that is 17. So the sum is equal to 17 here. And as you can see that we are uh, for these two elements that is 5 and 12 is 17 and just that you can return true that there exists a pair of elements that can give a uh, that can return a given sum and suppose you reach a value where your low is exceeding your high suppose this is low this is this is low and this is high then we would be uh, uh, since it is already exceeded then we can return false in that particular case so let's just go to our pie chart and let's start code for coding for this particular solution so def is pair r n and x okay 
so uh, what is add add is the list of elements n is the uh, number of elements and x is the sum that we are uh, searching for okay so first we would be assigning left is equal to 0 then we would be assigning right is equal to n minus 1 that is the rightmost index so while the condition that we will be providing that while left is less than right while the value of left is less than right we would have to calculate the sum the sum is equal to add of left plus add of right if s is equal to equal to x that is the sum of the left and the right element is equal to equal to x then we would be returning then we would be returning the value uh, returning true because we have got a pair that gives me a particular sum else if uh, elif, uh, the sum is greater than x what does that mean uh, the sum of the value is greater than x then we would have to reduce the value of the high high plus equal to 1 uh, it would not be high it would be right where did while explaining I tell you the same thing if it is greater yeah I did consider s as the sum here okay uh, let me check out here the sum is x and uh, sum is s and this would not be low plus high this is the sum of my elements if it is greater uh, this is the sum of my left and right element if it is greater then I would be uh, decreasing my value of high by one and if it is less I would be uh, actually I have kept the same condition in both of them right and if it is less I would be uh, reducing my value of uh, so this would not be left I would be reducing the value uh, I would be reducing the value of my lower index or the left index by uh, by I would be increasing the value of my lower index or the left index by one uh, so sorry for this com confusion guys I hope so you understood it that here x is equal to the sum of the left and the right elements and if it is greater than the sum I would be uh, reducing the value of my high and uh, high by one and if it is less than the value of the sum I would be increasing the value of my left index by or the low index by one so this would be right I would be reducing the value of right by one and else I would be increasing the value of my left by one okay and if that uh, we exit from this loop then we know that there is no particular uh, there is no solution to it that there is no pair that exists that gives us a particular sum uh, in this particular array so add let me take the input array as uh, what we had taken as a uh, input in the in this case in the case that we had dry run uh, uh, so it was 2 5 8 12 30 so it is 2 5 8 12 30 and let me just print the values that is is pair we are providing the air we are providing the length of air and we are providing the sum that is equal to 17 let me just check that we are getting true or not so we are getting true suppose I provide 18 uh, I don't think so we are getting a sum of 18 anywhere here no so I would be getting false because first 2 plus 30 would be giving me 32 then I would be reducing so 2 plus 12 would be giving me 14 then I would be increasing then 5 plus 12 would be giving me 17 then I would be uh, increasing again then 8 plus 12 would be giving me 20 so I would be reducing the value of 12 and I would be getting low and uh, left and right both are pointing to 8 so there is no more a pair that exists so uh, we are getting false as our output 
so thanks for watching this video guys uh, i hope so you understood the concept of uh, two pointers uh, see you in the next one